Welcome to Feature Week. This is the Brain Tumour Feature Week and my name is Kate Drummond. I'm a neurosurgeon at the Royal Melbourne Hospital and I'm a brain tumour researcher. This week you'll be able to hear from members of my team that will include other neurosurgeons and laboratory researchers and a medical oncologist, all of whom spend their whole life uh, treating patients with brain tumours and researching better ways to treat patients with brain tumours. Our research has really been a four-pronged approach to the types of research that we do. And during the week, you'll be able to hear something about each of these types of research. The first thing that we've been developing are better surgical methods to try to treat patients who have brain tumours. And this largely includes bringing new techniques from overseas and the developing them for an Australian population. So that includes developing an intraoperative MRI scanner at the Royal Melbourne Hospital. So patients who are having surgery for a brain tumour can actually have an MRI scan during their operation so we can make sure that all of the tumour has been removed and make sure that there aren't any complications occurring during the surgery. We've also been developing the use of other um, aids to surgery, including using an intraoperative dye that makes the brain tumour glow red under a blue light uh, while we're operating on it to make sure that we're removing all of the tissue. So that's our first prong of developing new surgical methods for patients with brain tumours. Our second approach has really been that of clinical trials. That means looking for new therapies, either developed in Australia or overseas, and having them offered in a research project to our patients so that they have access to their best and most latest developed drugs for treatment of brain tumour. And the Royal Melbourne Hospital has been very active in having brain tumour uh, therapy trials available for our patients with brain tumours. And later in the week, Professor Mark Rosenthal, who's a medical oncologist and an expert in brain tumour clinical trials, will be talking about some of the clinical trials we've offered and what they've meant for our patients. Our third prong of research is laboratory research. Because Royal Melbourne Hospital has a very active clinical practice for patients with brain tumours, that means we have two things that are absolutely vital for brain tumour research. That's the clinical information of the patients we treat, uh, how they do, what their outcomes are, what things might influence their outcome, but also the tissue that we remove at the time of surgery, which is vital for research to look at genetic and protein and other factors that we might be able to use to develop new treatments for brain tumours. And so we've been very active in collecting tissue from our patients who've had operations and using that tissue to answer some of the important questions that need to be known for patients with brain tumours to improve their outcomes. Our laboratory research has been headed by um, Dr. Andrew Morikoff, and you'll hear for him, from him later in the week as some of the projects that we've been undertaking. Those projects have focused on things like the epilepsy that's often caused by brain tumours and what chemicals actually cause that epilepsy and what we might be able to do to treat that. And also how the genetics of the brain tumour interact with epilepsy. We're also looking at uh, markers in the blood that might be able to help us to diagnose and monitor the treatment of patients having, brain tumor, having treatment for brain tumours. Um, that way we won't actually always have to do an MRI scan to tell if the treatment's working. We may be able to, to use a simple blood test to do that. So Andrew Morikoff will be talking later in the week about different aspects of our laboratory research that really hinges on the fact that we actually treat patients with brain tumours in the building right next door to where the laboratory research is happening. And the last prong of our research is really about quality of life. It's about how are our patients affected by their brain tumour and by the treatments that we give them. Uh, in every patient who comes to a, our brain tumour clinic, um, we ask them to fill out a quality of life survey and we're collecting that data over a period of five years. Once we do that, we'll have an enormous data set that will really tell us exactly what it is that affects the quality of life of our patients. And once, of course, we know that, we can design treatments or interventions of things that we can do to improve the quality of life for patients who unfortunately have been diagnosed with a very serious disease and have to undergo some sometimes not so pleasant treatments. So understanding how this affects patients and what we can do to minimise the effects will be incredibly important. So I hope over the next week you'll enjoy hearing about some of the work we're doing at Royal Melbourne Hospital to treat uh, brain tumours as part of the Melbourne Brain 
Centre Research Week. I hope you enjoy it and I look forward to talking to you about it later in the week. Thanks.